guys i have gone ahead and i have made one of the ear uh i made a bow to put on the ear i have made one of the arm and also one of the foot here so what i will do is i will start off by making the other foot so we can match up and um i'll just show you how to start that so to begin you will make a magic ring so you will wrap your yarn like that pull up your put your hook in pull up your loop make sure it's close to the hook and pull that through so you chain one there and then you will make eight single crochets right around so one two three four five six seven and eight you're gonna pull the tail down and in the first stitch that you made you're gonna put which is this one here you're gonna put two single crochet in that stitch and all around you will be putting two single crochets in so you will have a total of 16 at the end of row two so i am just making my two here one and two so i'll meet you at the end of this row so now i am at the end of row two and i have a total of 16 single crochet so in the next stitch you are going to put two single crochet and then in the next you're going to put one single crochet so the sequence is two single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet in the next and the sequence goes on. So one and two in the same stitch. And then one. And then two in the next. And then one. And then two in the next. So follow the same sequence. And I'll meet you back at the end. So now I am at the end of row three. So to begin row four, you will do one single crochet in each stitches around. Also, you will repeat the same thing in row five. So one single crochet in all the stitches around. And always remember to use your stitch marker. So that's my first stitch there. And we're basically just doing one stitch as I said before in each stitches around one single crochet and we're doing this up to row five when I'm at the end of row five I will meet back up with you now I am at the end of row five and you should notice that your work start to cave in like this but we're not going to turn it over as yet because this side will be the wrong side so what we're going to do is 
to start row six, you're going to do, we're going to be doing some decrease. So we will start in the first stitch here. So pull up your loop, don't finish, insert again, pull up your loop. Now you have three and then complete that three. Use your stitch marker to mark your first stitch here. And then in the next, you're going to do one single crochet. So the sequence is one decrease, one single, one decrease, one single in the next stitch. Go right around. So I'm going to do another decrease here. So I just do my single crochet there. Now I have my three loops and the hook. I'm going to pull through all three. So continue that same sequence until you reach to the end and I'll show you what to do next. Now I am at the end of row six and you can see that your work starts looking like a basket. So what you can do now, you can turn that over. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be doing some decrease. So you will be making three single crochets in each stitch. So one, two, three. And then in the next, you're going to do four decrease going around until you reach to the last four. Then you'll be doing single crochets in those stitches. So to begin, you'll make your first three. And I will be using my stitch marker. Okay, and this is my three. And then you will be doing decreases four times. One. Pull this a little bit tighter. And then two. Three, and four. So in the next four stitches, you will be doing only single crochets. So I'll meet you there. Now I have finished row seven, and this is what it looks like. So you should have a total of 12 uh, single crochets around before we had uh, 24 and then and then we had 16 and now we have 12 so to go to row 8 you will uh, only do single crochets right around
then after this row we will change color and we will be working with our yellow next okay so i'll see you at the end so now we have finished row nine and you can see that your foot here started looking like a shoe so what i will do is i will be putting the yellow so it looks like it's like a socks maybe um going in here so it just be, it will just be like the leg of the bunny so what you will do is you will cut off your excess yarn here so we're done with the white and we will join the yellow here so I will just tie put this one in and this one out so when you tie it the white is inside and the yellow is on the outside and then you can just stuff the remaining white piece down in here and you can bring this yellow piece here to the left and we're just going to be doing two rows of single crochets so just put this here so we can weave that in while we are making our single crochets just going to be a little bit difficult at this time because the shoe is so tiny but you will get it so that's my two and i'm gonna mark well i don't have to mark because i'm changing the color so i will know exactly where i'm supposed to stop so i'll just leave the stitch marker for now and i will meet you at the end of row 10 here So I will I will be doing uh, row 11 as well. So remember, you're only doing single crochets in each stitches in for row 10 and row 11. And that's where we will complete our foot here. So now our foot is now completed. Now just cut. generous amount of yarn off I'll just pull that through and I will be stuffing the foot so you can put as much as it can take or if you don't want it to be very stiff you can put less, but if you want it to be more pronounced and looking more firm, then you can put um, a good amount of fiber in there. So there it is. So now we have both leg shoe, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to move on to making the arm. And for the arm, you will make a magic ring. Pull up your loop. Chain your one. And you will be making six single crochets so at the end of this six single crochet i'll be right with you okay now i have completed the first round and in the second round here uh just like we did when we were making the um the feet we're gonna add two single crochets in each stitches around so you will have now have a total of 
12 single crochet in row two. So that's one. Always remember to use your stitch marker. Two. So that's my first stitch there. And that's three, four, and that's in the same stitch. So you continue doing that until you reach to a total of 12. So two single crochet in the same stitch right around. So for row three, you will make one single crochet in the next stitch right around. This is my first. And I'm just gonna mark that. So that's one and two. So continue doing one single crochet in the stitches around and I'll meet back up with you. So now we are at the end of row three and we're gonna cut our yarn here. And we're going to join our yellow. So what I'm going to do is I am going to insert my hook here. I'm just going to pull up that loop. I'm going to pull it through here. And then I am going to tie I'm just doing it a little bit different. Because I notice when I join it the other way, it's like this and I want it to be more uniform. And then you're just gonna continue making single crochets around right in the 12 stitches and you're going to be doing that for two more rows so row, row four and row five and i'll meet back up with you so now i have come to the end here and i'm just going to turn it over and i'm going to stick these yarn down in the bottom here and then for the next row, what you will do is you will do three single crochets in each stitch. So one here, one here, and one here. And in the next four, you will do slip stitches. So you will slip stitch here, 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 here. So that's, let me check it over. So one, two, three single crochet and then one slip stitch, two slip stitch, three, and four slip stitch. And then one, two, three, four, single crochet in the next. So for the next three rows to finish the arm, that's what you will do. So you're gonna go one, two, and three so that's your first three single crochet and i'm going to use my stitch marker so i'm just going to count down one two three so that's my first stitch there and then i will be doing slip stitch here so that's my first slip, slip stitch sorry So first slip stitch, that's one, two, three, and four. 
and then you will do single crochet in the next four stitches so what this does is it creates a slope uh, just like with this arm here so when you are attaching the arm it will have this slope you can see that so the arm looks like he's saying yay yeah so that's how you can attach it so continue doing that for the next uh, three rounds and you will complete your arm then so I'll meet you back up at the end of those three rounds So now I am at the end of making my arm here and I am going to just put some, I'm just going to cut off the excess here. And I will be putting some stuff in. And then I will be making the ear. So to begin making our ears, you're going to make a magic ring and you're going to pull up your loop and you're going to make a chain one. And then make six single crochet in the ring. then pull that down so to begin row two you're going to make three sets of increase so you're going to start your first increase here one and in the same chain make another one so that's two in the next so that's four and six so it's one two three four five six so let me just put my stitch marker here one two three four five and six always remember to use your stitch marker guys and then you're going to put single crochets in the remaining here So you should have a total of nine single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we're gonna go to row three. And in row three, you're going to make two single crochet and then an increase, two single crochet and then an increase. Uh, in this row, row three, you should have a total of 12. So one and two single crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. So now I am at the end of row three and I have a total of 12 single crochets. So to begin row four, you will make three single crochets so one two three 
and then an increase and then one two three and then another increase uh, right around so this is my first here my first single crochet so that's one I'm just gonna use the stitch marker two and three and then an increase So do this, do this same sequence until you reach to the end and I'll meet back up with you. So now I am at the end of row four and you should have a total of 15 single crochets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my work over. So to begin row five, you will make four single crochet. So that's my first. Two. Three. And four. And then you'll make an increase here. So follow the same sequence and I'll meet you at the end. So now I am at the end of row five and you should have a total of 18 single crochets. So moving on to row six make five single crochets and then an increase so five single crochet one in then one increase and five single crochet then one increase so follow the same sequence until you reach to the end and then i will meet back up with you So now I am at the end of row six and you should have a total of 21 chains. And if our stitches, I should say, uh, if you notice your work start to look in like a cone, that's how your work should be looking to start off the ears. Um, so we're going on to row seven now. And for row seven, you're going to make six single crochet and then one increase. So continue the same sequence. And once once you're at the end of row seven, you will have a, a total of 24 single crochets. So make your first six single crochets and then you make your increase. So that's two. I'm going to use my stitch marker. Always remember to use your stitch marker. So I'll meet you at the end of row seven. Now I'm at the end of row seven and you should have your 24 single crochets stitches around. Now we're moving on to row eight. So for row eight is going to be uh, just single crochets all around in each stitches. So from row eight to 10, you're going to make only one single crochet in each stitches around so remember to use your stitch marker each time you are starting a new row so your work don't get mixed up and i will meet you at the end of row 10 and then i'll tell you what to do next so remember only single crochets you will be doing around and you will be still keeping a count of 24 stitches up to row 10. So I'll see you there. Now I am at the end of row 10 and we're going to move on to row 11. So you're going to make six single crochet and then a decrease. So 
starting off here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do a decrease. So to do a decrease, you will insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook again in another stitch, pull up your loop. Now you have three on the, on the hook, pull through all three. So that's our first decrease there. And then you're going to make another set of six single crochets. So I'll meet you at the end of this row and I'll show you what to do next. So now I am at the end of row 11 and I have now a count of 21 stitches. So moving on to row 12. So for row 12, it's going to be a little bit different. So you're going to only make one single crochets in each stitches around. So from 12 to 13, only single crochets in all the stitches around. So this is my first. And I'm going to use my stitch marker and I'll meet you back when I am at my row 13. So now I am at the end of row 13 and I have a total of 21 stitches around. Uh, so moving on to row 14, you will make five single crochet and then a decrease. So go five single crochet one decrease then five single crochet then one decrease so follow that same sequence and i'll meet back up with you at the end of row 14 and i will tell you what to do next now i am at the end of row 14 and you should have a total of 18 single crochets around so for row 15 to 16 you will only do one single crochets in each stitches around. So I'll just move, remove my stitch marker and I'll start my first one there. And I'll see you at the end of row 16. So remember one single crochets in, crochet in each stitches around and you will have a total of 18 at the end of this row so now i have come to the end of row 16 and we're moving on to row 17 so i have 18 single uh crochet around and for row 17 we will do four single crochet and then a decrease so you will have a total of 15 at the end of row 17. So you're gonna go one and use your stitch marker. So I'll meet you at the end of row 17. So now I have finished row 17 and I have a total of 15 single crochets around so we are moving now to row 18 so for row 18 to 19 you will only do one single crochet in each stitches around and i will meet you at the end of row 19 and you should have a total of 15 single crochets So now I am at the end of row 19 and I have my 15 single crochets around. So moving on to row 20, you will do three single crochet. So that's my first one and then a decrease. So three single crochets in each stitches. So that's one, two and three and then you will do a decrease. So that is the sequence that you should follow. 
uh, going around and I will meet you at the end of this round. So now I am at the end of row 20 and I have a count of 12 single crochets around. So going on to row 21, so from row 21 to 25, you will be doing only single crochets in each stitches around. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in each stitches, you will be doing one single crochets. And remember to use your stitch marker. So I'll meet you at the end of row 25. So now I am at the end of row 25 and I will move it, I will be moving on to row 26. So what I will do is I will do a decrease. So I'll do one decrease and then in the remaining stitches I will be doing only one single crochets around. So for row 27 to 28 you will only be doing one stitches around and you will uh you will have a total of 11 single crochets at the end so i will meet you at the end of making this ear so after row 28 uh the ear is finished So now I am at the end of row 28 and this is what my ears looks like. And this is the one that I made before. So you see that they are on the same. So I'll just move on now to put in our bunny together and I'm just cutting off some yarn here. So I'm going to put the bunny together. So guys, I have one ahead of us. It's called the ear, the hands, and the feet, and the foot. So I'm going to be putting on the next foot here. So I'm just going to turn it to where I have this around here. And I'm just going to just start sewing, right? I'm going to go under. And then I'm going to come out through another part of the foot. And then I'm just going to go like that. You can basically sew anywhere you wish. But make sure that it is very clean. So now I just gone ahead and I sew down my foot here. So now I am going to be doing the next arm.
You're just going to place the arm like that. And you're basically just going to sew it just the way how you did with the feet. So now I am through sewing down my arm. And I'll be moving toward the ear. So to do the ear, what you will do is you're going to count from the center here. So you're going to go one, two, three, and then right in the center here. That's where you're going to sew your ear. Make sure that it is even. I'm going to start. But if you want to use thread to sew down your ear, that's fine. So now you see that both ears are matching. So I'm just gonna go back down here. Now I'm going to sew my bow on. I'm just going to slant the bow.
And there it is. My bunny is now completed. So guys, this is how my Easter long ears baby bunny turns out. It is looking very neat and tidy. The color combination is played very well. Also the bow on the baby bunny head looking really nice. Guys, if you like this video, please do give this video a like. Also give it a comment. Also share the video. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. And also click the notification bell so you can be notified each time I post a video. Thanks again for watching guys. Until next time. Bye.